everybody and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be discussing the hidden disabilities sunflower lanyard scheme and what it is so let's get into the video so what is the hidden disability sunflower you ask so wearing the hidden disability sunflower discreetly indicates to people around you including staff colleagues and health professionals that you need additional support help or a little more time above all it is used anywhere where people meet since its launch in 2016 it has now been adopted globally by major airports and venues within the uk by many supermarkets railway and coach stations leisure facilities the nhs a number of police fire and ambulance services an increasing number of small and large businesses and organizations you can find out where it is active in your area by clicking the link which i'll attach in my video description so how did this all start in 2016 the hidden disability sunflower was designed and launched when london gatwick airport asked how can we recognize that one of our passengers may have a non-obvious disability we created a simple sunflower design on a green background for a lanyard a subtle but visual sign to enable airport staff to recognize that the wearer or someone who is traveling with them may require some extra help time or assistance when moving through the airport procedures the success of this hidden disability sunflower trial and the positive response it received has increased awareness of the challenges adults and children with hidden disabilities may face. Hidden disability sunflower wearers now benefit more widely from help being offered to make their daily living just that little more easier. So why did they choose sunflower? Without a visual cue, it can be difficult for others to recognise, acknowledge or understand the daily challenges faced by people with a hidden disability. We wanted a discreet sign which was still clearly visible from a distance, as well as being distinctive, joyful and dynamic. We chose the sunflower as it suggests happiness, positivity, strength as well as growth and confidence. It is a universally recognised flower as well as being gender neutral. It intends to allow everyone with a hidden disability to choose whether they choose to be visible. And then it goes on to say, The Hidden Disability Sunflower Lanyard Scheme is part of Tabas Limited, a private company here in the UK. So basically what I want to talk about that is from my own perspective. As someone on the autistic spectrum and with anxiety disorder, I haven't actually tried this lanyard out yet. I know I can get it from a few local shops here in the UK where I live, so I'm quite lucky about that. I am willing to try this out. I think it's a positive step forward. The fact that it was first introduced in a massive airport here in the UK, I think it's a really great step. That shows that airport staff and shopping staff and now public transport staff are taking it on board to make people with inclusive disabilities and visible disabilities to be more communicated to and included within their organisations. I think this is a massive step for not just for inclusivity, but for disability access and making more people with disabilities wanting to travel on trains, on public transport such as buses and going to their local supermarket or their local convenience store to get their daily food and just to go there for a walk to get exercise, I think this is something that's going to make them feel more supported, that they don't have to feel anxious to ask for help or support. This lanyard will automatically know, the staff will know how to help you and best support you, as they should be already trained with this lanyard to help pick out where people need support at the right time, at the right place. So again, I know that I will provide some links at the bottom of the video description so you guys can read more into it. I think it's something that's going to be helping a lot of massive people who have chronic disabilities and visual disabilities that people don't see every day. So people might not think that I'm autistic just by looking at me because on the outside I look normal. But I do struggle with a lot of my communication. I do struggle with chronic anxiety. I'm always anxious. I'm always double checking what I'm doing and things like that. I have to have a set routine. So having this sunflower lanyard would make me feel really more less anxious to go out shopping because I don't really tend to go in big supermarkets unless I need to. I think if I had the time to have this explained to me and have someone help me out with my shopping within the shopping facility or within the public mental health facilities or anything like that, I think this sunflower lanyard will help break down the communication and make it more easy for both me and that person who is working there. So I think it's got positive benefits rather than negative benefits. But I could see also that a person who gets identified or a parent of a child who doesn't have the voice to speak up may feel that they're targeted because 
they're going to be wearing this lanyard like every time they go out to a shopping facility or to a public transport facility they may feel that people are going to stare at them make judgments so again it's down to the right timing to wear it and i think it's a time to educate yourselves on it so if you do recognize someone who has a disability who has that lanyard on take the time to help them take the time to support them but at the same time don't assume that children or adults want the lanyard it's an independent choice it's something that we should be able to choose for ourselves and i think it's a great step forward that these organizations are taking the chance to include disabled people who have invisible disabilities like myself i think it's a really great step needed in society and i just hope that the government will help out more with this as well i think it's something that will help communication improve it'll help build friendships it'll make things a little bit more safer and easier to understand for both people not just the people on the spectrum or people with disabilities but for organizations to prove they are inclusive they do support people with disabilities and they're not just for people who are non-disabled so again i will link the the links in my video description if you want to know more about what this is but i just thought i'd talk about it a bit from a personal perspective as well as from what the website says about it and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please click the like button. If you like what I do here, please subscribe. And I shall see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.